ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवा ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवा ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवा कैंटो टू चैप्टर सेवन वर्स थर्टी सिक्स स्वनिगमो बता दूर पारा आविर्हित अनुयुगम स ही सत्यवत्यम वेदाद्रुम विष्टापशो विभिजस्यति स्म Hare Krishna translations the lord himself in his incarnation as the son of satyavati vyasadeva will consider his compilation of the vedic literature to be very difficult for the less intelligent persons with short life and thus he will divide the tree of vedic knowledge into different branches according to the circumstances of the particular age text 37 लोकान्मतीलोभम वेशम विधा बहुभाष्यता अदधर्म when the atheists after being well versed in the vedic scientific knowledge and are late inhabitants of different planets flying unseen in the sky on well built rockets prepared by the great scientist maya the lord will bewilder their minds by dressing himself attractively as buddha and will preach on sub religious principles text 38 हरे कथा स्यू पाषंडिनो द्विजाजना काले भगवान युगंते thereafter at the end of kali yuga when there exists no topics on the subject of god even at the residences of the so called saints and respectable gentlemen of the three higher castes and when the power of the government is transferred to the hands of ministers elected from the lokan shudra class or those less than them and when nothing is known of the techniques of sacrifice even by word at that time the lord will appear as a supreme chastiser अधर्मुवसाशूर्दया मया विभूतया इमा पुरु शक्ति भज at the beginning of creation there are penance myself brahma the prajapatis the great sages who generate then during the maintenance of the creation there are lord vishnu the demigods with controlling powers and the kings of different planets but at the end there is irreligion and then lord shiva and the atheists full of anger etc all of them are different representative manifestations of the energy of the supreme power the lord text 40 विष्णोर्नो वीर्यगणा कतमो रिहाति यदीवनी कवीरजस्मी चस्क स्वरहसाक्षलता यस्मात्री सम्य सदा नदुकंपयान who can describe completely the prowess of vishnu even the scientist who might have counted the particles of the atoms of the universe cannot do so because it is he only who in the form of trivik 
Trama moved his leg effortlessly beyond the topmost planet, Satyaloka, up to the neutral state of the three modes of material nature, and all were moved. Text 41. Nantam vidhyami aham ami. <clears throat> Sorry. Nantam vidhyami aham ami munayo grashchaste. Maya balasya purushasya kuto vardye. Gayan gunandasha. Satanan Adi Deva Shesho Dunapi Samavasyati Nasya Param. Neither I nor all the sages born before you know fully the omnipotent personality of Godhead. So, what can others who are born after us know about him? Even the first incarnation of the Lord, namely Shesha, has not been able to reach the limit of such knowledge. Although he is describing the qualities of the Lord with ten hundred faces. Text forty two Yeshamsa Esha Bhagavan Dayayed Ananta Sarvatma Nashrita Pado Yadi Nirvea Likam Te Dush. Dustaram Atitaranti Chadeva Mayam Naisham Mamaham Itidriswa Shrigala Bhakshaye. But anyone who is specifically favored by the Supreme Lord, the personality of Godhead, due to unalloyed surrender unto the service of the Lord, can overcome the insurmountable ocean of illusion and can understand the Lord. But those who are attached to this body, which is meant to be eaten at the end by dogs and jackals, cannot do so. Text 43 to 45. Vedaham anga paramasya hi yoga maya yuyam bhavascha bhagavan atha daityavarya Patni mano sacha manuscha tad atma jascha prachinar bhi ribhur anga uta druvascha Ikshvakur eila muchkunda vide hagadi Ragu ambarisha sagara gaya naushad sadhya Mandhatar alarka satadhanu Satadhanu anu ranti deva deva vrata balir amurtara tarayo dilipa Sobharya utanka shibi devala pipalada Saraswat uddhava parashar buri shena ye anne bibishana hanuman upendra datta Partha Artishena Vidura Shruta Deva Varya. O Narada, although the potencies of the Lord are unknowable and immeasurable, still, because we are all surrendered souls, we know how he acts through Yogmaya potencies. And similarly, the potencies of the Lord, um, could you please um, scroll the page? Thank you. Um, and similarly, the potencies of the Lord are also known to the all-powerful Shiva, the great king of the atheist family, namely Prahlad Maharaj, Swayambhuvamanu, his wife Satyarupa, his sons and daughters like Priyavrata, Uttana, Pada, Akuti, Devahuti, and Prashuti, Prachinabari, <coughs> Ribu, Anga, the father of Vena, Maharaj, Dhruva, Ikshvaku, Ayla, Muchukunda, Maharaja, Janaka, Gadi, Ragu, Ambrisha, Sagara, Gaya, Nahusha, Mandata, Alarka, Shatadanve, Anu, Rantideva, Bhishma, Bali, Amurtaraya, Dilipa, Sobari, Utanka, Shibi, Devala, Vipalada, Sarasvata, Uddhava, Parashara, Purishena, Vibhishana, Hanuman, Shukadeva Goswami, Arjuna, Arshtishena, Vidura, Shrutadeva, etc. Text 
So ended souls, even from groups leading sinful lives such as women, the laborer class, the mountaineers and the Siberians or even the birds and the beasts can also know about the science of Godhead and become liberated from the clutches of the illusory energy by surrendering unto the pure devotees of the Lord and by following in their footsteps in devotional service. Text 47. Shashwat prashantam abhayam pratibodha matram shuddham samam sad asata paramatma tatvam shabdo na yatra puru karakwan kriyartho maya pra parayati abhu mukhe chavilaj mana tadvai padam bhagavata paramasya pumso what is realized as the absolute Brahman is full of unlimited bliss without grief. That is certainly the ultimate phase of the supreme enjoyer, the personality of Godhead. He is eternally void of all disturbances and is fearless. He is complete consciousness as opposed to matter. Uncontaminated and without distinctions, he is the principal primeval cause of all causes and effects, in whom there is no sacrifice of fruitive activities and in whom the illusory energy does not stand. Text 48. Sadhyan. Sorry, text 48. Sadhyanyamo yatayo yama kartahe tim. Jayu Swarad Iva Nipana Kanitram Indraha. In such a transcendental state, there is no need of artificial control of the mind, mental speculation, or meditation, as performed by the jnanis and the yogis. One gives up such processes as the heavenly king Indra forgoes the trouble to dig a well. Sashreyasham api vibhur bhagavan yatosya bhava swabhava vihitsa sata prasiddhi dehe swadhatu vigame anu vishrima mane vyome vatatra purushana vishrayati jaha. The personality of God is the supreme master of everything auspicious because the results of whatever actions are performed by the living being in either the material or the spiritual existence are awarded by the Lord. As such, he is the ultimate benefactor. Every individual living entity is unborn and therefore, even after the annihilation of the material elementary body, the living entity exists exactly like the air within the body. Text 50. So yam te bihitas tatha bhagavan vishwa bhavana samasena hare nanyad anyasmat sad asacha yat. My dear son, I have now explained in brief the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is creator of the manifested worlds. Without him, Hari, the Lord, there, there are no other causes of phenomenal and numinal existences. Text 51. Idam Bhagavatam, sorry, Idam Bhagavatam Nama, Yanme Bhagavato Ditam, sang, Sangraho Yam Vibhuti Nam, Twam Etad Vipuli Kuru. O oh, Narada, this science of God, Srimad Bhagavatam, was spoken to me in summary by the Supreme Personality of Godhead and it was spoken as the accumulation of his diverse potencies. Please expand this science yourself. Text 52. 
यथा हरौ भगवती नृण भक्तिर्भविष्यति सर्वात्मने अखिल धरे इति संकल्प्य वर्णया Please describe the science of Godhead with determination and in a manner by which it will be quite possible for the human being to develop transcendental devotional service unto the personality of Godhead Hari, the super soul of every living being and the summum bonum source of all energies. Text 53. Mayam varnayato musya ishwarasya anumodata. श्रृण्वता श्रद्धा निमायात्मानाटीचिंगेगुलाउटरीजरीजीष्ण हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा रूप माता जी एंड चैतना माता जी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल रिसेटेशन थैंक यू सो मच और ब्लिसफुल टू हियर द रिसेटेशन थैंक यू थैंक यू प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा ओके सो वी शैल स्टार्ट अवर श्रीमद भागवतम सो वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग श्रीमद भागवतम सेकंड कैंटो चैप्टर सेवन वर्स नंबर फोर्टी सेवन एंड फोर्टी एट टूडे Okay, so before we discuss further, so we shall offer our Mangalachan prayers unto the Supreme Lord and the Gurus. And Shri Prabhupad. Oh, Adnyana Timiranda Sya Adnyana Jana Salakaya. चक्षुन्मीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिमीलिम
भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टिकी हे तेजा शफला सह कृष्णस्तु भगवान् स्वयं इंद्रादि व्याकुल लोकम रुड़ी विगे इदम भागवत नाम पुराण ब्रह्म संहित उत्तम श्लोक चरित चकार भगवान ऋषि निश्रेयसा लोक संगम स्वस्थ नम कृष्ण सुधामोपगज धर्म ज्ञानादि सह खलु न सुषा मेषा पुराणि कृष्णा वासुदेवाय देवक नंदनाय च नंद गोप कुमराय गोविंदय नमो नम नम पंकज नाभाय नम पंकज मलिनी नम पंकज नेत्रय नमस्ते पंकजांग्रे अति विश्वेश विश्वात्म विश्वमूर्ते स्वकेशु मे स्नेह पाशि मं चिंदि धुम पांडुषु विष्णुषु त्वयि मे नन्य विषय मतिर्मत पते सकृति मुद्वहत गंगे वुमुदन्वति श्री कृष्ण कृष्ण सक विष्णु ऋषभ निधराजन्यवंशधनाघवर्ग वीर गोविंद गोद्विज सुरातरावतार योगेशुर किल गुरो भगवन्मस्ते योगेशुर किल गुरो भगवन्मस्ते योगेशुर किल गुरो भगवन्मस्ते तुलायामलवे नापी न स्वर्ग न पुनर्भव भगवत संगी संग मच्ये नम कि मुतफिश पुनश भूयाद भगवत्ते रति प्रसंग शताश्रयु महस्तुयाम या मुप्याम सृष्टि मैत्रसु सर्वत्र नमो विजेभ्य ओं नमो भगवते राधा गोविंदय नम हरे कृष्ण के थैंक यू सो मच ऑल द रिवोटीज फॉर काइंडली जॉइनिंग दिस इवनिंग फॉर हियरिंग कृष्ण कथा स्पेशल शेयर माय स्क्रीन So in the Shri Mad Bhagavatam, so we are starting uh, verse number forty-seven. So here, um, so these forty-seven and forty forty-eight shlokas, they are explaining about the uh, process of devotional service, the level of devotional service, and the supreme Lord in what state the Lord is in, and how great the devotional service is. So in the previous verse, so Brahma is speaking to Narada Muni. So so far he was saying about so many devotees who knows about the Lord and his pastimes. Ah, uh, so saying that number of uh, devotees names, Veda Hamanga Paramasi Yoga Mayam Yoyam Bhavasya Bhagavan Ata Dhaitya Variya Ha, and myself Narada yourself and also Lord Shankara, Patni Mano Sacha Manusya Tadatma Jasha Prati Na Parhi Rubranga Bhuta Drwasha. ूरीशेन विभीषण हनुमा हनुमा उपेन्द्र दत्त पाद अष्टेन विदुर सुतदेव सो नंबर ऑफ पीपल एंड देन ब्रह्म से अबउट द हाउ ग्रेट द डिवोशनल सर्वीस सो ते वै विदंत्य अति तरंत्य देव मयं स्त्री शूद्र कोण शबरा पाप जीवा यदुत क्रम परायण शील शिक्षा तीर्जना कि सुधारणा So here, a Brahma is saying that whoever is taking the process of devotional service, and either it could be Sri, Sudra, Hona, Shabra, Abhi, Papa, Jeeva, whatever the sinful people they are, and uh, they will be completely liberated from this material world, and that is yad adbhuta krama parayana seela siksha ha. That is yad adbhuta krama parayana seela siksha ha. And if one is trained in that process, tiryak jana api kimo sutta dharana ye tiryak jana tiryak is all animals, birds, beasts, and everything. They also get be uh, relieved from this material world. Kimo sutta dharana ye by hearing Krishna katha. By hearing Krishna katha, hearing about the Lord's pastimes, that is the process of devotional service. 
so now further uh, brahma is saying here that is the uh, which is full of knowledge and blissful and the lord who is always free from all the material contamination and which is completely the state of devotional service is completely uh, free and free from from the material, material activities and uh, all kinds of protective activities as well okay so we shall recite this verse and see what brahma is saying to narada further about the devotional service and the lord the devotional service is a, a process to attain the lord <clears throat> शाशस्तम प्रतिभोदुम समं सदसत परिद्धो न यकारकवान्क्रियाधो मया परेति अभिमुखे चलज्जम तद्वै पद भगवत परम से पुंसो ब्रह्मीति यदु अजस्रसुख विशोक प्रोसेस द शश्वत प्रशात अभय So here uh, we shall see it's a big uh, verse. So we shall see the translation. So what is realized as the absolute Brahman is full of unlimited bliss without grief. That is, Shashwast Prashantam Abhyam Pratibodha Matram. This is what is realized as absolute Brahman is full of unlimited bliss without grief. And that is certainly the ultimate phase of the supreme enjoy, the personality of Godhead. and he is eternally void of all disturbances and is fearless he is complete consciousness as opposed to matter uncontaminated and without distinctions he is the principal primal cause of all causes and effects in whom there is no sacrifice for fruitive activities and in whom the illusory energy does not stand So this is a shashvat prashantam ayam prati bodha matram shuddham samam sad asatha paramatma tattvam that paramatma tattva is the complete shuddham samam sad asatha paramatma tattvam shabdho naitra purukara kavan kriyadho maya pareti abhimuke cha vilajjhamana so maya pareti abhimuke cha vilajjhaman if maya doesn't stand in front of Krishna she becomes ashamed in front of Krishna. विशोकमें So likewise, uh, Brahma is saying to Narada Muni, "Shashvat Prashantam Abhyam Priti Bhoda Matram Shuddham Samam Sad Asatah Paramatma Tattvam Shabdho Naitra Purakara Kavan Kriyadho Maya Pariti Abhimuke Cha Vilajja Mana Tad Bhay Padam Bhagavatah Paramasya Pumso Brahmi Ti Yadvidhu Ajasar Sukham Vishokam." Okay, so translation. We have read and purport by Shila Prabhupada. Shila Prabhupada ki jai. So the supreme enjoyer, the personality of Godhead, is the supreme Brahman or the Saman Samam Bonam because of his being the supreme cause of all causes. The conception of impersonal Brahman realization is the first step due to his distinction from the illusory conception of material existence. In other words. impersonal brahman is a feature of the absolute distinction distinct from the material variegatedness just as light is a conception distinct from its counterpart darkness but the light has its variegatedness which is seen by those who further advance in the light and thus the ultimate realization of brahman is the source of the brahman light the supreme personality of godhead the samam bonam or the ultimate source of everything therefore uh, meeting the personality of godhead includes realization of the impersonal brahman as realized at first in contrast with material illusion 
the personality of godhead is the third step of brahman realization as explained in the first canto one must understand all three features of the absolute brahman paramatma and bhagavan pratibhoda matram is just the opposite conception of material existence in matter there are material miseries and thus in the first realization of brahman there is the negation of such material miseries and there is a feeling of eternal existence distinct from the pangs of birth and death disease and old age that is the primary conception of impersonal brahman the supreme lord is the supreme soul of everything and therefore in the supreme conception affection is affection is realized the conception of affection is due to the relationship of soul to soul a father is affectionate to his son because there is some relationship of nearness between the son and the father but that sort of affection in the material world is full of limitations when the personality of godhead is met the fullness of affection becomes manifested because of the reality of the affectionate relationship he is not the object of affection by material tinges of body and mind but he is the full naked uncontaminated object of affection for all living entities because he is the super soul or paramatma within everyone's heart in the liberated state of affairs the full fledged affection for the lords is awakened as such there is an unlimited flow of everlasting happiness without the fear of its being broken as we have experienced here in the material world the relationship with the lord is never broken thus there is no grief and no fear such happiness is inexplicable by words there can be no attempt to generate such happiness by fruitive activities by arrangements and sacrifices but we must also know that happiness unbroken happiness uh, exchanged with the supreme person the personality of god had as described in this verse transcends the impersonal conception of the upanishads in the upanishads the description is more or less negation of the material conception of things but this is not denial of the transcendental senses of the lord of the supreme lord herein also the same is uh, affirmed in the statement that the supreme lord is pure shuddham the word shuddham indicates that the senses of the personality of godhead are not made of the material elements they are all transcendental free from all contamination of material identification and also the liberated souls are not devoid of senses the liberated souls are not devoid of senses they do have uh, transcendental senses otherwise there cannot be any reciprocation of unhampered spiritual happiness exchanged between them in spontaneous unbroken joy all all the senses both of the lord and of the devotees or without material contamination they are so because they are beyond the material cause and effects as clearly mentioned here in sad asataha param the illusory material energy cannot work there being ashamed before the lord and his transcendental devotees in the material world the sense activities are not without grief but here it is clearly said that the senses of the lord and the devotees are without any grief there is a distinct difference between the material and spiritual senses and one should understand it without denying the spiritual senses because of a material conception the senses in the material world are surcharged with material ignorance in every way the authorities have recommended purification of the senses from the material conception in the material world the senses are manipulated for individual and personal satisfaction whereas in the spiritual world the senses are properly used for the purpose for which they were originally meant namely the satisfaction of the supreme lord such sensual activities are natural 
and therefore sense gratification there is uninterrupted and unbroken by material contamination because the senses are spiritually purified and such satisfaction of the senses is equally shared by the transcendental reciprocators since the activities are unlimited and constantly increasing there is no scope for material attempts or artificial arrangements such happiness of a uh, transcendental quality is called brahma saukyam which will be clearly described in the fifth canto shila prabhupada ki chai so here prabhupada is explaining about the uh, so here brahma saukyam is the um, brahmano hi pratistaham amrutasya avyasas అవ్యయస్ శాశ్వతస్య ధర్మస్య సుఖస్య ఐకాంతికస్య సో కృష్ణ హీ హ్యాస్ మెన్షన్ ఇన్ ద శ్రీమద్ భాగవతం అబౌట్ ద వాట్ ఈస్ బ్రహ్మ బ్రహ్మనో హి ప్రతిష్ఠాహం అమృతస్య అవ్యయస్ శాశ్వతస్య ధర్మస్య సుఖస్య ఐకాంతికస్య దట్ బ్రహ్మ విచ్ ఈస్ బ్రహ్మ విచ్ ఈస్ అన్లిమిటెడ్ విచ్ ఈస్ అన్లిమిటెడ్ హ్యాపీనెస్ శాశ్వతస్య ఎటర్నల్ అండ్ it is always pleasing that is the state of the brahma and that is also depending on krishna brahma no hi pratishta aham that brahma is also depending on krishna so that is the first level of the spiritual realization that is brahma iti paramatma iti bhagavan iti sabhyate so this is said by vadant tattat vidistatvam yajnanam adbhayam brahma iti paramatma iti bhagavan iti sabhyate there are three levels of the realization so prabhupada is here mex explaining about the uh, brahma iti paramatma iti so this brahma yesha stiti uh, yesha brahma stiti padha stiti padha nainam prapte vimuhiti tisva kyam antakale api brahma nirvana mruchyati so krishna in the sec- uh, second chapter of bhagavad gita he says yesha stiti yesha brahmi stiti padha nainam prapya vimuhyati so when he is completely free from the duality of this material world good and bad and happiness and distress and all kinds of this is hot and cold such kind of dualities then he will situate in the called brahmi stiti yesha brahmi stiti padha nainam prapya vimuhyati he will not be bewildered anymore sitvasyam antakale api when he is situated in the in his last stages then that is called brahma nirvanam ruchyati that is brahma nirvanam so this is uh, brahma bhuta say brahma bhuta prasannatma na sochyati na kaankshyati samah sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhaktim labhate param in that particular state the devotional service to the supreme lord it starts that is the real devotional service anything before comes it is just kind of a neophyte level it is coming and going and there is no proper determination so bhakti it is of there are three kinds of bhakti um, bhakti yoga bahuvido bhakti yoga bahuvido margaihi bhamini bhavete subhava guna madhyena pumsam bhava vibhijyate there are three types of the bhakti yoga so this is kapil bhagwan explains and here krishna also explains in the bhagavad gita so here uh, in the first le- first level the devotional service which includes the violence and also dhamba uh, with the prideness that is in the mode of ignorance and devotional service in reciprocation for some kind of desires that is in the mode of passion and the devotional service karma nirhara muddhasya parasmin va yadarpanam that one is that is completely freeing from the material contamination that bhakti yoga is in the mode of goodness okay lord will be understood very easily in the uh, bhakti devotional service in the mode of goodness in the shuddham satvam shuddham vasudeva sadhitam yadi te tatra puman apavrutah when we are in that mode of goodness the devotional service puman apavrutah he will be revealed very this is lord shankara says tasmin sat uh, satvej tasmin bhagavan vasudevo edokcha jo me manasa vidiyate when i am situate uh, in that stage the lord reveals himself in my heart 
this uh, Lord Shankara says uh, it is in the during the conversation between Sati and the Lord Shankara about the Daksha insulting Lord Shankara. So he says that is called Shuddham. Okay, so here Prabhupada is explaining about this uh, coming from the Brahma stage and Paramatma stage and Bhagavan stage. So Bhagavan is the, the highest one, so realizing the Supreme Personality of Godhead as a personality. So people who are uh, uh, meditating on the Brahma, it is very difficult. Uh, Krishna already mentioned one has to go through so many of for the body metal bodied embodied persons it is difficult so it krishna recommends uh, devotional service for everyone and also uh, paramatma it is kechi swadayhan kechi swadayhan this one uh, some yogis yogis meditate with the um, brahman that is the brahman light yogis meditate on the four handed form of the lord that is paramatma Ishwara Sarvabhotanam Puddheshya Jhunatishtati. That is uh, Paramatma. Some devotees, Kechi Sudehant, Radhyavakashya, Pradesha Matram, Purusham Vushantam, Chatur Bhujam, Kanjaratanga Shanka, Gadadharam, Dharanaya, Smaranti. That is Paramatma Tattvam. And uh, here, that is the, uh, when we are remembering the Lord in his four handed form, as in Arayana form, uh, it is uh, described and uh, meditate each and every limb of the Lord from the lotus feet, legs, and then thighs, and then that is the meditation to understand about the Lord. So for that, the process is recommended. One has to sit in a suchodese pristapya vijitasanasanam tasmin swasti samasena rujukaya samabhyase. One has to sit properly, keeping his body steady, and he has to meditate on the uh, Lord, the four-handed form of Narayana. So that is also, it requires some kind of endeavor, very hard. But when we come to the Bhagavan, so this process is devotional service. One has to offer Maddishna Darshna Sparsha Pooja Suti Abhivandanaihi Bhuteshu Madhbhavanaya Satpen Asangamenacha One has to go to the temple, see the deity and offer Patram Pushpam Palam Toyam Yomi Bhakja Prechati So the process is there. And then it is very pleasing. Pratyakshavagamam dharyam dharmam susukam kartumavyam. This is very pleasing to the heart, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita. So that is the process of devotional service. So that process, that is the highest level, which includes Brahman and Paramatma and then Bhagavan. This is the highest one. Yogina amapi sarvesham madgate nantaratmana shaddavan bhajate yomam same yukta tamomataha. That devotee. A yogi who is always engaging in the devotional service, he is in the topmost level. So that is, uh, Prabhupada is explaining. Um, and then further, uh, Pratibhoda Matram is just the opposite conception of the material existence. This is the Brahma stage. And then once in that particular stage, one can get the uh, um, devotional service to the Lord. And this is coming, uh, and there is a feeling of eternal existence distinct from pangs of birth and old age, disease and old age. This is the primary conception of impersonal Brahman. So it requires so much of endeavor for uh, who are meditating. Bhojan Mavipakvena Samyag Yoga Samadhina Drashtum Yatan Tetiyaha Sunyagari Fiyatpadam so many lifetimes they will go through like that who are meditating on the impersonal Brahman or even the Paramatma, it also it requires so much of endeavor for it. One has to sit in the uh, lonely place, not high, not too low, and keeping his eyesight only tip of the Swanasagra Avalokanaha, keeping the eyesight tip of the nose, and then sitting in proper position, meditating on the uh, <clears throat> Supreme Lord and his pastimes. How he, how Lord sit, how the Lord smiles, and how his, uh, his hands, his smile, his teeth, his eyes, and his earrings, everything. It is so pleasing to uh, think of it. But it is a very difficult going to a lonely place and meditate on the Lord. But for us in this material world, in the age of Kali Yuga, Ketana Deva Krishna Sya Mukta Sangha Param Praje 
it is just glorifying krishna and then one can get the that particular stage the highest perfection stage of human life okay so next for for the property saying um, the supreme lord is super soul of everything and therefore in the supreme conception affection is realized so here we understand we are part and parcel of the supreme lord it is the uh, kind of affection is due to the relationship of soul to soul mamai vamsha jeevo loke jeevo bhutaha sanatanaha we are part and parcel of krishna and a father is affectionate to his son because there is some relationship of nearness between the son and the father but that sort of affection in the material world is full of limitations that is full of limitations when the personality of god had is met uh, the fullness of affection becomes manifested because of the reality of the affection affectionate relationship we feel that this kind of relationships in our uh, vaishnav sampradaya gurus and disciples this is complete heart that fullness of affection between the spiritual master and disciples we could see in our sampradaya so we practically see with the prabhupada and his disciples and his dis grand disciples all the devotees so here uh, he is not a object of affection by material tinges so lord cannot be understand by the material tinges of body and mind this is ata sri krishna amadi na bhavet grahim indriyehi this is uh, he cannot be understood by the material tinges of body and mind but he is full naked and contaminated object of affection for all the living entities because he is the super soul he is the pure satyam shuddham vashadeva siddhitam he is completely pure and our paramatma within the everyone's heart in the liberated state of affairs the full fledged affection for the lord is awakened so this is the affection for the lord then Uh, the liberated state this is brahma bhutah prasannatma na sochiti kam na kamkshati he doesn't want anything of this material he want only the spiritual and what is that one mad bhaktim labate param that is full fledged affection is for the lord is awakened then devotional service starts then understanding until then one is engaging engaging in the family affairs and then very busy accumulating the money buying a house and going here and there for picnics and coming home and then sleep and then getting tired that is the ordinary way of materialistic life but in the devotional service so he is always engaging his mind uh, all his activities in relation to krishna with love and affection that is devotional service whatever we eat um and whatever we offer it to krishna and eat it and whatever we do it we think it is mercy of krishna likewise we doubt a every activity with krishna either it is good or not good so in both scenarios we uh, worship krishna with love and affection okay as such there is unlimited flow of everlasting happiness without the fear of its being broken as we have experienced here in this material world so this is unlimited flow of everlasting happiness shashvatasya dharmasya sukasya aikantikasya cha this is the everlasting happiness without any fear that's why devotees kshemay pada mulam me um hekuto bhayam so they will come to uh, krishna's lotus feet uh, this is uh, even whenever baby in the womb he also prays तस्योपसन्नमित जगदीचयातनाचलचरणारविंद सोहम व्रजा शरण हेकुत भयम मे हेने दृशी गतिरदर्शी असतो नूप हि प्रेस दट ऐ एम टेकिंग द शेल्टर ऑफ द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेर फॉर फियरलेसने हेकुत भयम मे द बेबी वेन हि वॉज ऑफ द सेवन मंथ इन द वूम हि ऑफ अस हिज प्रेयर्स so this is a couple bhagwan explains that one so that is no grief no fear so when who takes the shelter of krishna they don't there is no fear such happiness is inexplicable by words it is unlimited inconceivable and there can be no attempt to generate such happiness by fruitive activities by arrangements and sacrifices 
So he is beyond the Vidhi Bhakti. He come on to the platform of Raghavanaga Bhakti, Bhava stage, Prema stage, Madhurya Prema stage. So to, there is a exchange of feelings between the uh, devotee and the Lord. Sadhavo hridayam mahyam, sadhu nam hridayam tvaham. Madhinyanke najanante naham te bhyo managapi. I am in my devotee's heart, they are in my heart. I don't know anyone except my devotees. Devotees don't know anyone except me. So this is uh, the loving exchanges. So they are always non-separated. So devotees who are always hearing uh, the Krishna Katha, so the Lord stays in their heart. He always stays that he is not never separated from the devotee's heart. Okay, so that is unbroken happiness, exchanged with the Supreme Person, personality of Godhead, as described in this verse, and transcends the impersonal conception of the Upanishads. So Upanishads, and then in the Upanishads, the description is more or less negation of the material conception of things, just bringing the conditioned souls free from the material entanglement. But this is not the denial of the transcendental senses of the Supreme Lord. See, there is no conflict. So, opening all our Ved in the Vedic literature, they are non conflict at any point of time. So, they are aligned uh, in the Krishna. Everything uh, coincides in Krishna. So, here, uh, that no denial of the transcendental senses of the Supreme Lord. Herein, also the same is affirmed in the statement that Supreme Lord is pure, Shuddham. The word Shuddham indicates that senses of the personality of Godhead. Uh, personality of Godhead are not made of material elements. They are trans all transcendental. Angani yasya sakale indriya vritti manti pasyanti panti kalayanti chiram jaganti This is all, all of his senses. It does all actions. His eyes can eat and his ears can see something like that. One, one sense can do all the things. So this is how a lot these are transcendental senses. So and also here free they're all free from all contamination of material identification. They are of not the material nature. But we our eyes, Brahma has got eight eyes, four heads. In each side he has got already four. He can see with material eyes. But we have got only two eyes. We can see only in the front. But Lord can see everywhere. He is everywhere. Sarvato pani padam, sarvato mukam. Lord has got all the eyes everywhere spread. And also the liberated souls are not devoid of the senses. This is devotees who are worshipping the Lord. They also get the same uh, qualities as the Lord. But in a minute quantity. So because the Lord is free from all the contamination, but and similarly, whoever taking the shelter of Krishna, they also be completely free from the contamination, material contamination. So all the senses, both of the Lord and of the devotees, are without any material contamination. They are so because they are beyond the material cause and effects. Or as clearly mentioned here in Sat Asataha Param. And then the illusory energy cannot work there. So in front of devotees and Krishna, she cannot stand. Bhakti Yoga Namanasi Samyak Pranihite Amale Apasyat Purusham Purnam so this is Vyasadeva when he was in the meditation. So he sees the Supreme Personality of Godhead as he is in a complete. But Maya Maya is also behind Krishna. So she doesn't come in front of the Krishna because she is Vilajamana. She is ashamed of it. She is always behind. So if we are not in Krishna service, we are fall into Maya service. We will come under the material energy.
but that's why Krishna always says, Mamcha yo abhichare na bhakti yoga ne sevate, sagunan samati te chan brahma bhoya kalpate. So you, even you, engage yourself in my devotional service with avivichare na, without any uh, further contaminated, with, uh, with pure devotional service. Avivichare na bhakti yoga ne sevate. Then you will be transcending the three material modes of nature. You will be free from the material nature, from Maya. So, uh, illusory or material energy cannot work there. Being ashamed before the Lord and His transcendental devotees. See, and the devotee is also having the similar qualities as the Lord in a minute quantity. Even she cannot stand in front of the devotees. So, devotees, they do not serve Maya. Asevayayam trikurter gunanam jnani na vairagya vidhrumbitena yoge na mai arpita yaja bhakya maam pratyagatmanam ihavarunde. So, asevayayam trikurter gunanam, devotees, they don't work under the maya illusion. Yog jnani na vairagya vidhrumbitena, they are equipped with full of knowledge and detachment to this material world. Yoge na mai arpita yaja bhakya, and they are devotees. They offer themselves in the devotional service unto the Lord. So, Maam Pratyagatmana Mihavarunde, they attain the uh, Lord in, in this material world here itself. They are called Jeevan Mukta. So, um, <clears throat> in this material world, the sense activities are not without grief, but here it is clearly said that senses of the Lord and the devotees are without any grief. So, there is a distinct difference between the material and spiritual senses. And one should understand it without denying the spiritual senses because of material conception. And then further Prabhupada is explaining, the senses in the material world are surcharged with material ignorance. In every way, the authorities have recommended purific purification of the senses from uh, material conception. In the material world, the senses are manipulated for individual and personal satisfaction. Whereas in the spiritual world, the senses are properly used for the purpose for which they are originally meant, namely the satisfaction of the Supreme Lord. This is Hrushikesha uh, Hrushikena Sevanam. Hrushikena Hrushikesha Sevanam. This is all the senses to be engaged in the, the law master of the senses, that is devotional service. Okay, such sensual activities are uh, natural and therefore sense gratification there is uninterrupted, unbroken by material contamination because senses are spiritually purified. And such satisfaction of the senses is equally shared by the transcendental reciprocators. So this is what a devotee feels. He doesn't look for any kind of uh, either money or fame or anything else. Um, so... So the Lord will, he is akinchana gocharam, he doesn't need anything else, uh, any material kind of uh, things. Janma Aishwari Sruta Sibihi, Yedamana Madhukman, Naivarhati, they are not the qualifications. Tvam akinchana gocharam, Namo akinchana vittaya, Nivurta gunavurtaye, Atma Ramaya Shantaya, Kaivalya Pataye Namaha. So, Kunti Rani prays. So, Krishna is Atma Rama. Likewise, the devotees, whoever is uh, holding the lotus feet of Krishna, keeping Krishna's lotus feet in their heart, they are also Atma Rama. Atma Rama Shamunyo Nirghanda Api Urkrami Kuru Ante Ithikim Bhakti Mittam Bhuta Gunoharihi They enjoy in hearing Krishna Kata. Devotees. They are Atma Ramas. So, and further Prabhupada says, since these activities are unlimited, constantly increasing, there is no scope for material attempts or artificial arrangements. Such happiness of transcendental quality is called Brahma Saukyam, which will be clearly described in the fifth canto. This is also the Nam uh, Rama. Brahma and uh, Ramanta Yogino Anante Satcha Ninde Chidatmani. Iti Rama Padena Asa Iti Param Brahma Bhidhiyate That Brahma, Param Brahma is also called Rama and who is unlimited happiness. So likewise, Brahma is explaining to Narada Muni. See, so much of nectar is Prabhupada is giving us more than Brahma here. Okay, that is that verse and then further 
next verse we shall move to the next verse sadhanyamy yatayo yama yam yama katta hetim jehu swaradiva nipana kanitra mindraha so this is again glorifying the devotional service who are engaging in the devotional service sadhyagniyam yatayo yama katta hetim jehu swaradiva nipana kanitra mindraha in such a transcendental state there is no need of artificial control of the mind mental speculation or meditation as performed by the jnanis and yogis one gives up such processes as the heavenly king indra forgoes the trouble to dig a well so indra doesn't need to dig a well for the water because he is the he is supplying the water likewise Uh, the lord whenever we are engaging in the devotional service this brahma and paramatma the knowledge of all these things they are already included in it a devotee doesn't need separate endeavor that's why krishna says yoginam api sarvesham madghate nantaratmana shraddhavan bhajate yomam samayukta tamo mataham and this is very beautifully explained by kapil muni as well tasmat mai arpita ashesha atma karta nirantara so he says uh, all the time devotees uh, they have surrendered their atma adha money and everything to me mai arpita atmana ha kumso mai sanyasta karmana ha napasyami param bhutam akattu samadarshana there is no greater person i can see in this universe in this manifestation napasyami i do not see anyone Ak- param bhutam akattu samadarshana so he says that one he is the highest position he doesn't need any separate endeavor this is a devotee who is engaging in the devotional service so sadhyagniyam yatayo yam akatta hetim jahu swaradiva dipana kaditra mindraha so like just like a giving an example indra doesn't need to dig a well for Uh, but here jnani and yogis they have to go through so much of mental speculations or troubles but krishna gives us uh, this is the pratyakshavagamam dharyam susukam kattum avyayam and, and also here uh, demigods also they say tata parichatma samadhi yoga bhale na jitva prakritim bhalishtam twameva deerah purusham vishanti tesham shramah syanatu sevayate and many people Uh, they try to control their senses very difficult but your devotees engage in the devotional service they attain you very easily so so beautiful that is devotional service so purport by shila propada shila propad ki jai okay i'll uh, quickly finish this man a poor man in want of water digs a well and undergoes undertakes the trouble of digging similarly those who are poor in transcendental realization realization speculate on the mind or meditate by controlling the senses but they do not know that such control of the senses and achievement of spiritual perfection are simultaneously made possible as soon as one is factually engaged in the transcendent loving service of the supreme person the personality of godhead it is for this reason that the great liberated souls also desire to be associated in hearing and chanting the activities of the lord the example of indra is very appropriate in this connection so king indra of heaven is the controlling deity or demi controlling deity or demigod or arranging clouds and supplying rains in the universe and as such he does not have to take the trouble to dig a well for his personal water supply so for him digging a well for a water supply is simply ludicrous similarly those who are factually engaged in the loving service of the lord have attained the ultimate goal of life and for them there is no need of mental speculation to find out the true nature of the dog, true nature of god or his devotees so the devotees always with krishna so they do not have to worry about it and everyone fear of krishna so This is Madhbhayat Vati Vato Yam Suiha Tapati Madhbhayatam Varshat Indro Dhati Agnihe Mrutyoho Charati Madhbhayat So here says the Lord says that everyone fear of me Madhbhayat Vati Vato Yam because of 
fear of me the wind blows suri hatapadi madbhaya the sun it glows it blazes it uh, glows like because of my my fear of me varshati indro and indra makes this varsha because the fear of krishna varshati indo dahati agnihi agni also blaze because of the fear of the lord mrutyo charati madbhayat and even though the death taking place uh, in this material world where it is but the death world is this is that is also by the fear of the lord to control the universal affairs so devotees are always with krishna so they do not have to worry about it so na na anyatra bhagavatah pradana purusheshwarat atmanam sarvabhuteshu so here uh, devotee that's why they take only krishna uh, lotus feet of krishna nothing else na anyatra bhagavatah pradana purusheshwarat so bhay at the time uh, ಆತ್ಮಾನಂ ಸರ್ವಭೂತೇಶು ಭಯಂ ತೀವ್ರಂ ನ ನಿವರ್ತತೆ ದಟ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಬೋಟೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಸಚ್ ಡಿಬೋಟೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ದ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನರಿ ಆರ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ದೆ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ವೇಣು ಕ್ವಣಂತ ಮರವಿಂದ ದಲಾಯ ತಾಕ್ಷಂ ಬರಹವತಂ ಸಂಮಜತಾಂಭುದ ಸುಂದರಂಗಂ ಕಂದರ್ಪಕೋಟಿರ ಕಮನೀಯ ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೋಭಂ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಮಾದಿ ಪುರುಷಂ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಾಮಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಟ್ ಎ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ಟು ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಲೋಲ ಚಂದ್ರ ಕಲ ಸದ್ವನ ಮಾಲ್ಯ ವಂಶಿ ರತ್ನಾಂಗದಂ ಪ್ರಣಯ ಕೇಳಿ ಕಲಾವಿಲಾಸಂ ಶ್ಯಾಮಂ ತ್ರಿಮಂಗ ಲಲಿತಂ ನೀತ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಂ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಮಾದಿ ಪುರುಷಂ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಾಮಿ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ಸ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಹೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗೋಲೋಕ okay so that is about the identity of the lord but devotees they do not have to imagine or something we know the address of the lord it is goloka vrindavan so goloka vrindavan is here so this is our address to go to um, okay this is the goloka this is the address of, of uh, devotees and krishna okay because they are factually engaged in the transcendent loving service of the lord the lord's pure devotees have already achieved the results of mental speculation or meditation so the real perfection of life is therefore to be engaged in the transcendent loving service of the lord this is the highest perfection stage so just engaging in the devotion this which is so pleasing and going to the temple offering to the fruits flowers to the lord and sit there hearing krishna katha do the bhajans feasting dancing associate with the devotees um mahatam bahumanena deenana manukampaya maitya cha evaatma tulyeshu yame nandi yame cha and senior do offering obeisances to the senior devotees and if younger devotees are there we help them to come onto the transcendental platform equal minded people maitriya kevatma tulyeshu make the friendship with them yemena yemena cha with following the regulations and rules and regulations that is um, beautiful devotional service so rendering service to the lord with love that is the transcendental loving service very beautifully uh, never ends so keep on going on okay that is from shrimad bhagavatam sadhyagnim yatayo yam akattam akatta hetim jehu swaradiva nipana kanitram indraha likewise brahma is saying so here when the devotee is uh, there is very beautiful thing just wanted to share very quickly about it so here uh, this this one kapil bhagwan he says ತೈ ದರ್ಶನೀಯ ಅವನೀ ಉದಾರ ವಿಲಾಸ ಶಿಕ್ಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಸೂಕ್ತೈ ಹೃತಾತ್ಮನು ಹೃತ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಂಶ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಅನಿಚಿತೋಮೇ ಗತಿ ಅನ್ವೀಂ ಪ್ರಯುಕ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ದ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ದ ಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಚಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಮೈಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಯೂ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಲೂಸಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಹಿ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫ್ರೀಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ ಎಂಗೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವೀಸ್ thus in spite of his unwillingness he attains liberation without separate endeavor see how beautiful it is anichitome gatim anviyam prayunte very beautiful explaining here so likewise brahma is saying the glories of the devotional service and the lord uh, who provides such kind of facilities for his devotees um, okay so i stop here um,
that is from Srimad Bhagavatam, very beautiful nectar coming from Prabhupada's uh, purports. I shall stop here. I request dear devotees, if you have got any questions, any additions, any comments, kindly add and share if anything you wanted to share. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Your words are all nectar. It was so good. It was absolutely like transcendental bliss just hearing you. Thank you so much. And about pranam to you. Hare Krishna. No questions or no additions, no comments. Okay. So if there are no questions, we are already a few minutes needed to nine o'clock. Um, okay, if there are no questions, we, we shall conclude. So, our session for tonight, and uh, see you next again in the next session. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you for Thank you, Thank you for a nice class. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Thank you so much. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank Hare you Krishna. So much, Prabhu Thank you so much, Hare Krishna. Thank, Thank you, Prabhu Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Everyone, I think Thank everyone say loud Hare Bol three times. Hare Bol. 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 Thank you so much. Um, Thank you so much, Prabhu Ji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much for the nice class.